in first place with the gold from Japan, Shoma Uno. Second place, his countryman, Kao Muda. And in third of Italy, Matteo Rizzo. Muda was leading the pack heading into the free program, but the reigning world champion, Shoma Uno, said, nah, uh, 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 give me my things. Sitting in second after the short where he popped the second jump of his combo, leaving him in second place, he skates a near perfect five quad masterpiece of a free program. Starts off with three gorgeous quads, a loop, a sow, and a flip. A little bit of extra work to save them, but still money. In the second half, his fourth and fifth quads are just gorgeous. I see the improvement and the lack of telegraphing he has in these quads that they look like part of the program. He's not like the other men who just show you that, hold on, here we go, a quad's coming up. They just happen so naturally and amazing. That being framed by his gorgeous skating, uh, that step sequence is, go watch it, amazing. The stellar skate will catapult him into first place, but with his short program where he made the big mistake on the combo, the combined total is still well below his personal best. So expect even more from Shoma at NHK later this season. Now on to silver medalist Kao Muda. Like we mentioned before, Muda was leading the pack heading into the free program and hoping for a top two finish to clinch his ticket to the Grand Prix final. He had the equivalent of a three alarm fire today before his free program. His skate lace broke less than a minute into the warm up. He had to get off, relace, came back on for the last 30 seconds and then had to sit down again for another hour before he took his starting pose for this free program. Now me, your beloved host, Asher Hill, would have been pooping his pants and been like, let's just withdraw and try this again next year. But Cal isn't me. He rose to the occasion with a strong skate until it was a big fall on the quad sal where it looked like he almost hit his head and almost hit the boards. He was able to get back up, regroup and deliver a strong program that was only seven points below his PB that he hit last week at Skate America. The harrowing ordeal is handled and he secures himself a second silver medal in less than a week to potentially punch his ticket for the Grand Prix final later this December. And I say potentially because you never know what could happen, but statistically, he's going. With the bronze, the Italian Matteo Rizzo touches a Grand Prix podium for the first time since 2019. Third after the short program, he holds on to the spot with a near clean skate to a Bruno Mars medley. I loved it, the crowd loved it, and he loved it too. Giving us a big reaction with a rock star, hell yeah, I did that knee slide on the way to the kiss and cry. And of course, shout out to Keegan Messing of Canada. Not a clean short, he sat fourth heading into the free but there was a great skate and he gave us everything he is famous for. Two gorgy quads, one in combo, and a crazy triple axle that he survives. Wouldn't be a Keegan program without one. Then giving us all what we wanted, he shows a picture of his son Wyatt in the Kiss and Cry, who he also brought to his first interview. And after the short program, he showed us a picture of baby number two. Congrats, Wyatt. You're going to be a sibling. So that's it from me at Skate Canada International, our first event live on location. Let us know what you thought about the event. What were your highlights? Who was your fave? And of course, check out the CBC Sports YouTube channel. We'll be here all Grand Prix season long, covering everything you want and more. See you guys soon. I know you love that video, so subscribe so you don't miss any more, and you're sitting here anyways, watch some more!